Hey everybody, Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Got a new project going on. I'm doing a AMT 71 Duster 340. I've already gotten all of the parts uh, desprued and prepared for paint. Um, you can see here I've got the, the 340 motor ready to go for paint. I am decided that if, if I use this motor, I'm gonna use the six pack because I think the six pack is cool. Uh, and I say if I'm gonna use that motor, I've been experimenting with some 3D printing. And one of the things that I've been able to uh, download and print is a Hemi Hellcat motor in quarter scale. So I'm I'm thinking about, uh, and I bought the file online and then I, I printed it with my uh, 3D printer. I'll have more on 3D printing in the future, I think. Um, I think maybe this is the future of modeling. I don't really know, but uh, it, it sure is fun. I'm enjoying 3D printing very much. And, uh, and I've been 3D printing wheels and tires. I found a set of uh, Resto Mod style Mopar wheels. They're just, they're scaled up. Here's the, uh, the ones that come with the Duster 340. Um, they're still chrome plated. I didn't take the chrome off them, but th it's, this is basically just a scaled up deeper dish version of it with the uh, lower profile tires. And again, this is just 3D printed on my three, re it's a resin 3D printer. Um, and then I also, uh, did a, uh, set of steelies with the chrome caps on the 3D printer as well. I sized them to fit this same tire. Uh, and this file I actually found online for free, these steelies. And uh, downloaded it, printed it, and then uh, painted it the sublime metallic uh, green, which is the, the color that I selected for this build. And I have painted the uh, body sublime green, and uh, I have already clear coated it. So it is, it is ready to go, just kind of... Uh, curing for a day before I do all of the chrome trims, but here you can kind of get a glimpse of what it's going to look like with those low profile resto mod styled steelies with the chrome trim. I, I think that looks really cool. Um, so that's where I'm going to go. And I, I don't think I'm going to use these. I think because I, I found the steelies. I saw doing my research for reference photos. I found, I saw a, a resto modded duster 340 online and it had steels and steelies on it body color and it looked really cool and i was like wow that's the build for me um so so that's what i did i researched online and found a actually a free set of wheels so there you go and then this is just a another version of it after i had printed this i had noticed that there was a slight little texture to it and i discovered that there are some um some settings that you can change in the 3D printing that affects the resolution of the print, which makes it a little bit smoother. So I did that and this is the second set I uh, printed. But as I said, I'm not gonna use those now uh, because I want to uh, I want to use these steelies. I think these are gonna be sweet. Um, and I've also uh, painted all of the other parts. The, um, the side view mirrors are, uh, are painted here. And um, then I painted the rear spoiler, which is going to go on, and it's uh, flat black, obviously. And uh, and the firewall, which is green. There's the firewall. And the part of the undercarriage where it holds the motor is is green. And the undercarriage itself, obviously, I still have to do some detailing. I'll pick up that gas tank and paint that gas tank, but uh, uh, and I'll also black out the wheel wells. But uh, you know, Mopar is his body color, everything under there. Um, and I've actually completed the hood, which I, I wanted to go with this graphic. Um, this decal is included in the kit, and I saw a Resto Rod Mopar Duster 340 online with this same exact paint job. So the, the flat black is all masked and done, including that ever so small stripe. That's all masked and done by me, sprayed with the flat black. Uh, and then the scoops, you drill the holes and you mount the scoops on. And uh, probably should be body color under here, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I like it just the way it is. But, um, but that hood is going to look really cool on there. And uh, and then the decals, you have the um, the stripes that go down the side, and then the uh, it also the kit also includes the stripes that go above and below the tail lights. Um, so those will those will be put on the black ones. 
Um, I haven't decided the color of the interior yet. It's either going to be black or white. Uh, I haven't decided. I, I might go with a white interior. I think it might look pretty cool. I recently did a, um, a Challenger. And uh, I'll get that out and show you here. Uh, I just completed this build. I didn't do any filming of this build. Uh, this is one that I just built. Uh, I just was having fun one weekend and I built it. Uh, and it's a, um, it's a 340 as well with the six pack. And uh, I, I actually wired it, did some spark plug wires, did some wire loom in there. Um, and uh, I did all kinds of stuff. But again, also body color on the bottom. And uh, and I know this is supposed to be black and this is supposed to be chrome, but uh, you know, it was just how I did it. And I realized it after the fact and uh, I'm not gonna fix it. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is because uh, I like the car. I think it looks great just the way it is. I did some Firestone wi um, wide oval decals on the tires because I love white letter tires. I think white letter tires are it on a muscle car. Uh, they look fantastic. So, um, so that's what I got going on. It's kind of, looks kind of like Mopar Central here. It's just the way it works, uh, for, for right now. That's, that's what I got going on. I actually did another build too that was non-Mopar. I'll, I'll share that here too. Why not? Um, this is the AMT 1970 and a half Camaro. Uh, and I 3D printed these pretty wild resto, resto mod wheels, uh, for it. And, uh, it's a, um, it's a metallic orange that I custom mixed, uh, out of the, uh, the Createx airbrush colors. Um, and then this particular one has a, uh, has a clear coat, a 2K clear, and then decals. Uh, and even though it's not the SS, I, uh, I painted the back black just because I like the way it looks. I like the way that looks. So, uh, so I've had a lot going on here. So, so stay tuned for more. I'll come back with an update for this video on this, uh, Duster 340 and, uh, and things are happening. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to mention the spastic stuff. This is the chrome stuff that I use that, um, that I like the ultimate mirror chrome. And I noticed I was getting, you know, uh, toward the bottom of the bottle on that stuff. And I thought, you know, thought to myself, Hey, I should order some more of this. And it just came today. And um, I got the three bottle kit. Each one of these is two ounces. Um, this is the ultimate black backer. So you uh, you put this, I, I believe you spray this on, then you spray on the mirror chrome, uh, and then you have a, there's a clear coat to protect the mirror chrome, which I think is kind of cool. Spastix is RC stuff. It's made for Lexan, but it seems to work fine for me. Um, this is the spastic stuff, and, and I don't have the black backer on. This is just over clear coat. I have discovered that with the spastics, and the trim on this car is also done with the spastics, um, when you put it over clear coat, which is shiny, the spastic appears like chrome. It doesn't necessarily need the, uh, need the black backer, but, uh, but I got the black backer anyway. I figure I'll give it a shot. And uh, we'll have uh, we'll have a review on that stuff coming up. So stay tuned for more. All right, just catching you up on uh, where I'm at. I've got the um, the body, all the trims, all done, which uh, I'm very pleased with. It came out nice using the spastic stuff. Um, the other parts are all done being painted. I've uh, done some detail on the bottom to picked up that gas tank. Um, the interior, I've got, um, like a flat black on for the carpet and then the door panels I've got done. I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but the top and the bottom are the flat black and then the center is a, a semi-gloss. There's just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of sheen to it there. And I've picked up the trim and the little duster logo and the door handles and stuff like that. So that's, uh, looking pretty good. The, um, dash I've done some detail painting on. Um, I'm going with all black for the dash. I've, I've seen some dusters with um, with wood inside, and then I've seen in my photo reference some dusters all black. And I think I'm just going to stick with all black because I like it. Um, I, I love the texture on these seats, uh, and that's just you know right from right from AMT. The seats look fantastic, and then I don't know if you're picking up the two sheens here. This is a flat black, and then this is a semi gloss black to give it more of a a real look with the seat. 
And there's a little air conditioning vents for under the dash that I got and detailed those up. And the engine cradle is here now. Um, and this is the step I'm at right now where I'm kind of just uh, changing out the motor. And I don't do this a lot, so I'm kind of just fumbling my way through it. I'm going to give the Hellcat a shot. And, uh, and the Hellcat has been painted. And uh, it's ready to be, um, get some detailing to go on it. Um, this, uh, these little coil packs have to be painted black. And then there's a, a black cover with a silver Hemi supercharged that goes on that I have to put on. And then um, I got to put belts on it. So I'm going to make some belts out of uh, masking tape and paint it black. And just kind of, you know, figure out, see if I can find online what the serpentine belt pattern is. And see if... Uh, if these pulleys correspond, see how accurate this is, and uh, if the co pulleys correspond and I can come up with how to do the serpentine belt uh, pattern, I will do that, and uh, then we'll have a Hellcat motor ready to go. So, so basically the first step that I'm working with here is where you assemble the front engine cradle and attach it to the chassis. So I've got to do a whole bunch of test fitting, basically, because I've got to see the, the Hellcat, and, and I did some Googling, the Hellcat is a lot smaller uh, than the 340. Um, and, and I printed this to quarter scale according to the instructions that came with the digital file. But you can see that it is a little bit smaller. And I did some Googling and looked at some pictures. I found people who have taken dusters and put Hellcat motors in them, because why not? It's a great idea. Um, and and looking at where their Hellcat engine is in the engine bay, this looks to be about the right size. So I, I think I'm going to be okay there. I just have to figure out, once I put it in the engine cradle, if I can use these stock engine mounts or if I need to cut them. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to, because it is substantially shorter than the other engine, um, the other engine, the transmission makes contact with a bracket um, back here. So when I when I drop the motor in, the it, it basically makes contact with a bracket here, and then there's a piece that goes over here and holds the motor in. So the motor is you know encapsulated in the bracket, um, which is you know good design. You know it's not going anywhere. Um, so the Hellcat is too short. So I need to figure out exactly where it needs to be as far as aft, where it needs to be as far as up and down. Um, and then I need to figure out how I am going to hold it in place. Um, then will come other problems like the drive shaft. I'm going to need to probably extend this drive shaft or fabricate an entirely new drive shaft, one or the other. Um, I painted the drive shaft up just to, you know, for the sake of painting it. And, uh, and then I can adjust it um, as need be. Then also, once I, once I get the motor mounted, then I can start solving problems like drive shaft and exhaust. Um, there are a couple of headers that uh, hook up onto the side here. And, um, and that, since this engine is so much shorter and it's going to be further forward, I think, than the other motor, I'm probably going to need to create uh, an exhaust connection. So, so that's where I'm at for right now. I, I'm not 100% sure that this is going to fly. I've got all the parts for the motor here. They're not painted. Um, but, but all the parts for the motor are here uh, just in case I need them. And, uh, and it, it, if I need to, I can go back and use the 340, you know, and put the six-pack in. And, and the car will still be awesome. But, um, but I just want to give this Hellcat a shot. If I can solve these issues... Um, then I, I think having a Hellcat in there will be pretty sweet, especially since I'm using the Resto Resto Mod uh, Big Steelies, kind of modernizing it. Um, you know, why not modernize the powertrain as well? So, uh, so fingers crossed, I can figure this out. I'm I'm sure I had a, I'll have a much easier time than the guys who did this in real life. Um, I would imagine there's probably some kind of kit that would enable them to. Um, fit the engine in with the cradle and everything um i've even considered lopping the transmission off of the 340 and uh attaching it to the hellcat just to give me some more length and um and that may still happen that may still happen uh we'll we'll see that's a, an idea i'm kicking around so uh so stay tuned for more i will update you when i figure this out 
Okay, getting down to the wire here. I was able to take a section of the transmission and glue it on to the bottom, uh, the back of the Hellcat motor just to extend it. And then that simultaneously made contact with the mounting point and uh, made it so that the original factory drive shaft would work. So that was a win. The exhaust headers are off just a little bit. I'll see if I can do something with those, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, 99% of everything uh, is connected and looks good. The um, So the Hellcat motor is 3D printed. These wheels and tires are 3D printed. The, the big steelies with the chrome trim um, are 3D printed. I think that looks uh, excellent. I really like that look. I, I saw a red one online with... Uh, with a similar look and uh, and that was it i was all for it so i still have some some parts to do i've got my side view mirrors pinned already i need to um i need to drill the hole and put the mirrors in there are some parts that have to go under the hood um and then the spoiler the spoiler has to go on the front end has to go on the bumpers uh, and then, of course, the decals, the beautiful uh, the beautiful stripe decals that go all the way down. Um, they have to go on there. And, uh, and we'll be coming back for photos. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench and following me along on the 71 Duster Hellster build with the Hellcat and the 3D printed wheels. I had a lot of fun on this build. I hope you'll come on back for my next one. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Comments are always welcome as well and questions too. Thank you for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench.